Hi, everybody. We're recording here. And let me now then go on to uh, uh, Zoom. And uh, I think we are on Zoom now. Good, 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 good. Hello, everybody. Yeah, we just thought we would do this. Uh, we did this last year. And, and oh, wow, I don't I don't know how many people are, are, are showing up here. But uh, it looks like a lot more than I thought would show up. So let me uh, let me admit people here to the uh, uh, to our little group here. Uh, let's see here. First of all, we've got uh, Charlene, and we got Charlie Wallace, and we've got Mike Chisholm, and we've got uh, oh, there he is, ladies. That's right. Edward Berger. Boy, are you festive tonight? Uh -huh. Huh? That's right. Yeah. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Boy, everybody's showing up. It's, uh, and some of the people who are on the ramble as well are showing up tonight, too. Uh, hello uh, to hello, Rachel. She's out in, I, San, um, out in San Francisco, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yep. All alone on New Year's Eve. Yeah. Oh, you're. Oh, yeah. Because your husband works. He's playing tonight. Yeah. I mean, it's a, it's the one night of the year that if you're a musician's wife or you're a comedian's wife or whatever, okay. uh, either either you go to the gig, or you stay home. Why didn't you go to the gig? Because the gig's in Santa Rosa, and it's an atmospheric river. Is I mean, excuse <laughs> me, atmospheric bomb. Uh, yeah. <laughs> So anyway, so, well, you know, you can still spend New Year's Eve when he gets home, right? He's come. Yeah, he'll be here at 1030. About 1030. Oh, so he's doing an early show. Yeah, he's doing oh. like a geezer show that starts oh. at five and ends at nine when the ball drops in New York. It's the geezer show. You know, so everyone can get to bed at a decent hour. Her, her husband. Uh, is uh, Buddy Love? I think that's oh, the name probably people would know him more by. Yep. And oh, look who's here, Mandy! Don't you have a date on New Year's, Mandy? <laughs> oh, you do. He's passed yeah. out. <laughs> he said, "Don't you have a date?" And I pointed to you, and I said, "I do." No. She have a date. <laughs> Who is that? We're watching the Georgia game. It's very oh, really? much a nail biter. Oh wow! Really. Yeah. Well, so was the election. So what do you expect out of Georgia? <laughs> what? Oh, it's totally different. You, Georgia's never, you know, they're the defending national champions. It's where my I daughter think, went to school. See, Marjorie is so happy that uh, her her team, which is Penn State, mm -hmm. is going to the Rose Bowl. You know, so I just, just I just thought I'd help her feel happy about that. Anyway. <laughs> And Mike Chisholm, hello from Canada. How are you? Peace and love, Alex, and everybody here. We have New Year's up here in Canada, too. Go figure. <laughs> Wait a minute. Your Thanksgiving is on a different day. That's right. That's right. But the New Year's is the same day. We are aligned for the uh, for the beginning of the new year. Yeah, but Christmas, do you celebrate Christmas on the I same day up know. there? The, tw the 25th. However, uh, you know, it's not, uh, you know, the Chinese and what the Jews have different times, though, don't they? Yes. Yes, they do. Uh, <laughs> you're amazing. Uh, let me see here. Oh, well, hello, Charlene, down in uh, Southern California. Bay Area. Bay Area. Why do I keep? Why do I keep thinking I of San Diego? I don't know. <laughs> well, hey, I you know I I I can always excuse things. I have a cop out for everything. Hey, I'm 83. What do you expect? <laughs> That's okay because I'm 68. What do you expect? Yeah, okay. And then there's Charlie Wallace. Hey, he's I'm what? 73. Seven, he's 73. So what do you expect? <laughs> do you ever use that as an excuse, Charlie? All the time. You know, do you ever pull out the old man card? Yeah, players complain about my calls. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, I I I I do it all the time. And uh well, you're Edward, Jewish. Edward. It's expected. What? I said you're Jewish. It's expected. Hey, Alan. Hi there. How are Hi. you? Yeah, another Jew speaking here. Yeah. I, I, other than Mandy, I'm probably. Oh no, Josh. Josh and Mandy are the are probably. Yeah. I am. Yeah, Mandy and Josh are younger than me. Well, 
Probably almost everybody on this My night. Kid. Me. What did you say? I said probably I'm everybody. Than Alex. How old are you? 64. I'm just, younger than you. Oh, really? I, well, I just turned 64, so I feel real old now. Happy birthday. Thank you. A couple I, days ago. Thank you. I'm Thank you. Well, 62, November 3rd, Marjorie's birthday, too. Listen, wow. can I ask you a question, um, Mike Chisholm? Uh, up yes, in sir. Canada, do you do you uh, celebrate my birthday on the same day? <laughs> <laughs> if it were up to me, I would celebrate your birthday every day, Alex. Oh, thank you so much. It's so nice of you. I am the inverse of Alan. I am 46. So, you know, we're uh, 64 to 46 there. We got the inverse going. Wow. You have to I rub that in, you were don't you? older than me. Yeah. <laughs> I get that a lot. Uh, you know, the worst thing about being 83 years old, you're 83 years old. That's <laughs> not the Everything hurts. You know, I mean, it's just not, it's not, there is no God. Otherwise, it wouldn't be this way at my age. You know, everything would be better. Uh-huh. Yeah, but no, things just kind of get worse. Uh, so so now, who is the guy with you, Mandy? <laughs> not saying. She's got to turn on her. It's a secret. She's got to turn on her microphone. That's my conservative friend. That oh, your conservative friend. Oh, All yes. right. Well, let's make them feel welcome. There you go. There you go. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. the, the former first lady. You know, you're the only person <laughs> I know that is proud to say he has a picture of himself with Sarah Palin. <laughs> yeah, but it's the story behind it, though. That's that's uh, yeah. Um, yeah. It's it's a lot of fun having that. Yeah, yeah. So you were the guy holding up the picture in front of her kitchen window of Russia when she said, I keep Russia. <laughs> "Well, no, because I'm from Canada, so she could actually see us from her house as well." She never <laughs> talked about that though. <laughs> And Josh Wheeler, how's everything in your neck of the woods on this New Year's Eve? Uh, how you doing? Yeah, t- t- turn up your mic a little bit. It's slow for some reason. No, I'll try to. Oh, there you go. There you go. There, it's better. Much better. Much better. Well, you know, I was gonna, uh, I was gonna ask people uh, to kind of sum up the year, and one of the questions that I wanted to ask was. If we were to name a name a person of the year, and I think Time Magazine this year it was uh, 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 Vladimir Zelensky. What's his name? Zelensky. Yeah. Zelensky. Vladimir Zelensky. Yeah. Zelensky. Zelensky. Uh, and and well deserved, you know. Uh, although I don't know how much talent it takes to get bombed, but you know. <laughs> That's the kind of thing, you know, that's the kind of thing that uh, that uh, Donald Trump would say, you know, he says that about McCain. Eh, it doesn't take much to get shot down. You know. <laughs> anyway, uh, but my question would be, who was the worst human being on planet Earth this year? Elon Musk. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I haven't. I was going to get to you, but now you've spoiled it. So you would dominate. I couldn't help myself. Now this is the whole planet. Now this is this isn't just the United States. This is the whole planet. Okay, you're sticking with Elon Musk, right? Oh, I mean, yeah. Can, oh, yeah. Can, are we not including Putin? Like, Putin, well, yeah. no, of course. Of course. Putin's All right. Well, would that I be, guess I'm going with that guy. Would that be your nominee for the worst person on the earth? Yeah, yeah. I think so. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. How about Charlene? I'd say Putin too. Wow, Putin's getting uh, getting a vote here. Uh, how about you, Alan? I agree, Putin. Okay, Mandy, worst person on the planet. Yeah. By the way, you don't have to say Trump because you got your friend there who's a conservative. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I'm getting I'm getting his. We're doing a consensus. Who's the worst person on the earth right now? Right. Yeah. yeah. 35, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 
<laughs> and I was like, who's that? We're pronouns, pronoun sensitive here. So you say she or her. I agree. Yeah. How about, how about uh, so you would, you would say um, probably Putin, I would say. Yeah. I mean, I would say him. Yeah. Um, so, boy, Putin's winning so far. How about you, Rachel? No, I, Putin's really bad. Um, Trump's really bad to me. Mm -hmm. um, and like the guy in Syria. Oh. Yeah, we don't hear from him lately. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, he's Syria's gone, I think. Well, it's no, it's still there. I mean, but I mean, it's flattened a lot. It flattened. There's yeah. nothing left to bomb. Yeah. Although, I might be wrong. I haven't All, been. There. Although the guy, the leader, I'm trying to remember his name now. Um, Assad. Assad. Uh, pretty much bombed his own country is what he managed to do. If you say they flattened yeah, his own it. people. Yeah. He flattened it. You know, so that's a good, that's a, it's actually a good choice of horrible person. But, you know, yeah. Putin, like he poisons people, you know, like, oh. like. You know, Putin look, look, if he look. doesn't like somebody, he just poisons them. Or... Rachel, every now and then people get cranky. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think I, that's why I think Putin's worse than Trump, because I don't think Trump's been poisoning people yet. Uh, no, no. He, well, actually, he's poisoning. Charlie, I'll defer to you. You're usually yeah. good on this stuff. Has he poisoned anybody, Trump? Um. These boys in a lot of minds. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. After the country. Yeah. After the country. Yeah. How about you, Brian? Worst person in the it's, world. That's Putin. Putin, hands down. Putin, hands down. Uh, when I was thinking about this, uh, Josh, did I ask you? You said Putin, didn't you? Or did... No, he didn't ask, but oh. I mean, I could go, I could go with that. <laughs> what else could you go with? Anybody else? I don't like Elon Musk. I don't like him at all but he, I don't, you know, he doesn't can he come it. under the category of the most horrible person in the world no, i mean i wouldn't uh you know i'm not gonna unfairly put that on it <laughs> i mean uh, putin's a wholesale murderer you yeah know? perhaps most annoying in the world yes it, well, maybe we could get to that in a moment we could check <laughs> yeah let's do some categories this is gonna be yes. great yeah uh uh brian did you what did you say brian did you say anybody putin okay I when so, I was Man, thinking, Mandy, of, hand up. oh Mandy, I want to change my vote. Okay, oh. uh, the quarterback of Ohio State. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. The whole Dallas Cowboy team. How's that? That's crazy. <laughs> okay, game over. No. Oh, did he miss it? No. No, he didn't Sorry. miss it. But we got two minutes. Mm -hmm. We make the best game we win. That's true. Just remember any description of that game. Without the written consent permission <laughs> of the commissioner Sorry. of the NFL, is not allowed. So. We still have a small chance of winning. So. Small chance. Can, as someone who is, but as someone who's the, the only person really here. Yeah, we don't. If if I um, uh, since I'm the only one in this room with a sports Emmy, <laughs> which most people can't figure out how I ever got it. Um, who is uh, who is uh, uh, Georgia playing tonight? Ohio State. Okay. Ohio State. Okay. All right. That's why their quarterback's the worst person in the world. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. I was going to say the coach, but I'm really annoyed by the, the yeah, quarterback. By the quarterback. Okay. At this moment, he's the worst person. He's been connecting world. with the players too much. I see. Well, when I thought about this, I, I was thinking of um, – let me see. This says ho ho who is. <laughs> I may have to get rid of this person. No, but it's probably no, 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 no. I think it's Kevin. Kevin's watching, so it's probably him. That, uh -oh. That's him from the other. That's when he was Santa. Yeah, he didn't change his name on that. Oh, he didn't change his name from last week. Yeah. Kevin, that is that you, Kevin? Maybe, maybe not. No, that was his thing. Ho ho who was. Uh, yeah. There he is. There he is. Oh, uh, uh, you thought I was going to start doing something nasty, did you? <laughs> well, when you, when you no, we thought, we thought you were going to get caught doing something nasty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
It's not yeah. nasty, but sometimes people do what they call um, um, Zoom bombers, yeah. and then they start running porn. Well, oh, that's not nasty. Clear? Which is not allowed by YouTube. So obviously, you know, I have. <laughs> so to that's the only reason why you deleted those guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So anyway. it would have been a little distracting if you left them on longer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, we've been asking the question, Kevin, here, and it's a good, good one. Who's the worst person in the world this year? Oh, you're going to hit me with a question as soon as I get on? So <laughs> <laughs> serves you right for me. Only like... 8 o'clock here, or 8.30, 8.45, I You want to think about it for a while? Yeah, let me think about it for a little while. Okay, so I was thinking about this question, and I and I came up, Putin was one of the ones I came up with. Those are easy, Putin, Trump, all those are easy. Yeah, but I came up with one nobody here has come up with, and that's Kanye, or yeah. Yeah. Ah. Uh... Yeah, that's, that's he is the, maybe I think the most horrible person in the world. Uh, what about like Harvey Weinstein, Harvey Weinstein, and like Clarence Thomas? Yeah, but they were like last year's worst person, <laughs> right. in the world. and they're also they don't poison people. They don't poison people. Mohammed bin Salman cut is them that, Is that now the the motivation, the 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 cutoff point for us? Is they do <laughs> they or do they not poison people? That takes it, take, makes it a little worse. I think Elon Musk is going to buy Fox News next. <laughs> yeah, good. They'll ruin that too. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. Hopefully, he buys it. Well, he he's now he's looking for somebody to run Twitter, <gasps> and I'm I'm I I'm willing to do the job. I'm willing to take that job. You know? Yeah, tell, send him all your Gabnet you know, credentials. Yeah, and uh, I'll tell him. Yeah, because he wants to get back to doing the. You know, the car company and things like that, you know. But then it sounded, I may be wrong, but first he had this up to a vote for Twitter followers. Mm -hmm. And then, and the vote was that they wanted him off of it. And then he said, oh no, it's only the these members, these blue members or something that are, that pay for memberships. Those votes are the only ones that count. And I, I don't know what they, if they recounted that, so. He probably still lost. Yeah, but it sounds like he didn't like the outcome. So then he said, "No, only these members." Well, I think so. he liked the outcome. I think he oh, actually wanted. I think, uh, he wanted I think, it. That was part of his exit strategy. You know, I think Mandy either is getting abducted by aliens or they won the game. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Well, what happened? Mandy, without giving us a blow-by-blow <laughs> description, what happened? Oh, one second. <laughs> See, this is a way to spend New Year. <laughs> I'm trying to unmute myself because I got my TV up and I don't want to. You know, um, no, they just made a really good play and got into the red zone and they have to score or we don't win and go to the national. Can I ask you this? We don't go to the natty. A minute left. Did you say the red zone? Yeah. yeah. What's what's the red? Oh zone? no, never mind. Don't start. Don't him, get into that now. <laughs> That's another show. Oh, what's the red oh, zone? Oh. I got I, I do admit to you. It's like the twenty. That in twenty yard of... line and. Come on. Inside the twenty yard. <laughs> I won't see yes! what happens. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Apparently, I'm seeing it before oh, you are. My God, this is crazy. Woo woo. Well, who Sorry. Said that? Who we said it? We saw a kick point after, but we just tied it. You just tied it. Oh, this yes. is going to be a nail biter then. Oh, wait, huh? Ohio State, Josh, is that you? Yeah. yeah. No wonder he's fifty-four so quiet. seconds left. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's still fifty-four seconds. So just let's all remember that bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They, they, they scored with a minute. With only took a minute to score. Huh? Wow. Let's see, things. See how things can change just on the. Uh, you know. Is this the same game that was on last I night? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that game's being played right now in Canada. Right. <laughs> <laughs> How's the weather over there, Alex? Is it still real cold and no, icy? And no, uh, it is now forty-two to forty-one, Georgia. Oh, I thought see, she was <laughs> one degree, and she said forty-two to forty-one. <laughs> No, our temperature here right now is 53. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, yes. we're 50. So, we're, oh, wow, we're older than you guys. Well, 
the Bay Area has been raining like nonstop for. Uh, I saw it. I saw the pictures of the flooding uh, in the streets. Oh, last night it was flooding yeah. throughout the Bay Area. Do, do you live on and a then, hill? Do you live on a hill, Rachel? I live on a hill. Yeah. So was it was the water coming yeah. down the hill? Yeah. There was mudslides at the top of the hill, Ooh. and there was like brown water like coming all the way down. For those of you from who know San Francisco, Folsom Street, oh, down wow. Cesar Chavez, and this restaurant on the corner of Presida and Folsom called Marlena has this outdoor dining, and that made the water come up on the sidewalk. Oh. Did you live above that restaurant? So the water, the water was brown. Oh, yeah. the, uh, by the way, the water Cafe was Casalino. Uh, a couple of days ago, the water was brown here too, but that wasn't caused by the rain. It was caused by a bad boiler downstairs. I, I like the way Alex mud. said. I like the way Alex asked the question: Is the was the water running down the hill? No, it was running up the hill. No, to catch a pail of water. No, I, uh, <laughs> um, uh, I, um, I, I saw it on television. Didn't mm. they? We're showing a hill, and they were showing the water coming down. It may have been my hill because. Um, well, I, I said, didn't the go mud. there. I didn't yeah. go there, but somebody showed videos, and as, as all I did was when it stopped raining, I walked the dog, huh. and hmm. you know, I, actually, I went out. I had to do some errands. I went out in the car, and I was in a parking lot. And when I came back to my car, I was wearing rain boots and literally six inches of water at for where the back of my car was. By the way, we have nine minutes till midnight here. Wow. And, and at midnight, I'm going to play Old Lang Syne, but it's a very wimpy version of Old Lang Syne. <laughs> and I'll tell you why, because a couple of years ago, maybe it was last year, I played Guy Lombardo playing Old Lang Syne, which is the traditional yeah. Old Lang Syne version, right? And I got popped by YouTube for copyright infringement. What? <laughs> yes. So this year you're going to have uh, a, a just a guitar version of it. It's not very festive, <laughs> you know. It almost makes you not want to sell. How many don't like celebrating New Year? I could take it. Apparently, all of you, because you have nothing to do. <laughs> I'm going out. I'm going out. I'm hanging out tonight. So. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Well, of course, <laughs> uh, out in California, it's not even. Uh, it's yeah. Not close to midnight yet. Yeah. I had an early feast with my son before he went to a party, mm -hmm. but we had like crab and oysters and nice. scallops and whatever. Where, where was that at? At my house. Oh, oh your house. house. And, and we made garlic noodles. And then oh, we already nice. clean, And then we already cleaned up. He's gone, and now my husband will come back eventually. Okay, and when he comes back, and then I have. Are, are you are you going to have a party? Well, probably, but I. I went to get some champagne and yeah. I went down to the Safeway where the puddle was like six inches deep. Mm -hmm. And the only champagne they had left on the shelf, they had like a couple kinds like Andre and <laughs> um, anyway, but I find this one, it was marked down from $20 to $12.99 and it's a Snoop Dogg. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally, it's, like a, it's a California sparkling wine made with Snoop Dogg oh. with his face on it. It's good stuff. And I, I read, it. it's really before good. Before I bought it, I looked it up and it got five stars. So yeah. that's what we're gonna drink tonight. Well I, I, did, yeah, I saw a thing I saw a thing <laughs> on TV tonight on NBC where they uh they went out and they got some uh, Dom Perignon two hundred dollars a bottle right and then they got a thirty dollar bottle of champagne or or sparkling wine is it has to be called mm -hmm. it doesn't come from champagne and uh they had people testing it and overall the 30 dollar wine won mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, well, they all I'm do the same young. job ladies and gentlemen they all do the same job <gasps> yes yeah. sir yeah i would have spent i would have spent more but they didn't have anything there they, like it was just <laughs> you know three dollar champagne and then snoop dogg isn't there a liquor yeah. store in your block on, on Folsom at, across from Presida Park? That's where it's flooded. I didn't want to, I really didn't want to go down there. I, a friend of mine lives the right there. Yeah. A friend of mine lives on Folsom across from the park. Oh, cool. What's their name? Gardner. Gardner. I'll look, I'll keep a look at. Does Gardner have a dog? Two dogs, I think. Okay. They walk their dogs. Yeah. I'll there check. are only tens of thousands of people who live in that neighborhood. <laughs> 
No, it's like literally a, a block from my house. Right. And, and I go to Proceed Park with Alfie. Yep. With uh, who's Alfie? Alfie's my corgi. Your corgi? Oh yes, of course. Because uh, uh, Buddy always wanted to be the queen. And so he always had nothing but corgis. He had like three corgis when I knew him. He, when he divorced Mo, he, I think he, oh no, he kept two and she kept two. Oh, okay. Or he kept one and she kept two. But when they were together, he walked three. Yeah. yeah but they're they adorable, wonderful animals. They're nice. They're, really you know, nice. they're, they're cute. And and they're good, but um, they're not the most obedient. Ah. Ma Mandy's screaming, just so you know. I hope she's not in distress. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the, well, they had 43 seconds. You never know what they could You know, done. without the sound, you don't know whether she's watching a football game or having an orgasm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that Gordon Peele movie side. over there. If she can hear us, Phil Meyer's knocking at your front door. <laughs> She's is she frozen? No, she's not frozen. No, she's watching the game. It must be really um, it looks like right it. down to the wire. Nail biter. Yeah, well, it's uh yeah. They're making a run for it. Oh, do you have any money on this game, Mandy? <laughs> <laughs> okay. we'll get them I mean, I'm from Georgia. Yeah. My daughter graduated from there. A few months ago, this dude graduated from there. He's not a huge football fan, but I mean, we want him to win. And it's like a nail biter. We just clawed our way back to get ahead for the first time, and now they're fixing to probably win with a field goal. Wow! Wow! Well, it's just annoying. Yeah. The drama of sport. Yeah. 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 And the agony of defeat. Yes. Uh, yeah. So. <sighs> Okay, so so there's a big big Bay Area contingent here. Charlene, where do you live in the Bay Area? In Castro Valley. Oh, it's cool. I'm in Fremont. And, and, and Josh is in Ohio. Yeah, well, we were talking about California. That's close enough. Though. In another <laughs> life, in another life, I used to be a corporate trainer for Costco Wholesale. I used to train down in the uh, Bay Area. There was a, a little a little city I loved there called Roseville. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. yeah. Was a yeah. Little, little place. Roseville, little anymore. Not anymore. Roseville is up by Sacramento. By the way, less than three minutes till midnight here, and, and then we're going to play our festival, <laughs> Lang Syne. Does anybody else have a favorite version of Odd Lang Syne? Mine's the Dropkick Murphys version. I kind of like a little bit of punk. Do you see play anything <laughs> else but some kind of like uh, 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 non-royalty version? I'm, I get in trouble. They'll find it. Hey, speaking of non-royalty, Alex, did you hear that uh, the Steamboat Willie version of Mickey Mouse is about to leave copyright? It's He's going out of public yeah. domain. Well, it's going into public domain. Yeah, uh, there's going to be some messed up Steamboat Willie stuff come out. You know I, what has already gone? It. You know what has already gone into public domain is Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, they're making a horror movie about it. They made a horror movie out of yeah. it, in which it, Christopher Robin leaves Winnie the Pooh and Eeyore and leaves them in the forest and goes away and when he comes back they're feral and they're killing people oh my God. <laughs> can we put donald trump in there <laughs> <laughs> can this be the year that we stop doing jokes or even caring about talking about donald trump we'll give it a week or two i mean <laughs> come on it, it's not it's not decent to make fun of the poor <laughs> yeah <laughs> Because finally, America will now know that this guy is the worst business man in America. You know, and the only reason he made a lot of money one year was number one, because if you don't, if you have two years or rather four, five years of returns that come out with you not uh, owing anything or not making any money, uh, you have to be considered a hobby. So every fifth, fourth, every fifth year, you have to make a profit. And so he threw in money his father gave him to say that he made so many millions of dollars. But basically, man, the man, oh, kick. Oh. terrible businessman. He had income from his father's properties, I think. Yeah. yeah. 
Well, we're getting close to midnight here in New York City. It's uh, getting close to the nine o'clock magic hour out in California, where we have Brian Neary and Allen. Josh is in Ohio. I believe Ohio is, is Ohio one hour behind us. I'm not here anymore. <laughs> and of course, uh, uh, Mike Chisholm, who's in Canada, is now 1957. Yep. So, <laughs> I'm excited about the new model of Chevy. 10, Alex. It's gonna be great. Nine. I thought eight, this was be seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Year. Happy New Year! Year. Happy 9 p.m. Happy 9 p.m. Wait a minute, we don't need a ball to drop. We have Edward Berger. That's right! (laughs) Happy New Year, everyone. Cheers! I'll have a drink oh, of. They missed it. They missed he it. missed it. Yes. They missed it. They missed it. Yes. Yes. Oh. Yes. Freaking missed it. Look how happy she is about New Year. Look how happy she is about New Year. Have another drink. Yes. He freaking missed it. Glory, glory, hallelujah. <laughs> oh my god, you better mute her. Man, what a game. You know what? That's exactly how I felt. My when... daughter's boyfriend, my older daughter's boyfriend, is a huge Ohio State fan. So, either way, I was like, if Ohio State wins, cool, you know. Yeah, but, you know, yeah, but now he can suck women. it. But you know who also played for Ohio State? You know what? who else played for Ohio State? I mean, uh, Georgia State. Who? Hey. Wasn't that Herschel Walker. Walker? Didn't he play for? No, he played Georgia. for Georgia. Yeah. Oh, he Georgia. Georgia State. Herschel I said. Walker. I said Georgia State, didn't it? Hey, well, he he started Georgia. He was a bulldog. <laughs> yeah, Georgia. Georgia no, Georgia we're not State. talking about Herschel Walker, right? <laughs> what? Oh yeah, do your friends like George, like Herschel Walker? Well, <laughs> come on, let, let's speak with your friends for a minute and, and justify him, may have Herschel voted. Walker. <laughs> And let ask them the question that no, I always no, no, ask. No, 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 no. I have to ask another question. Who is the stupidest person in the world? Herschel. <laughs> Kanye. So, Who's the stupidest person in the world? Man, Herschel. 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 Ask your friends if they like Herschel Walker. What is the best quote? What is, what's their favorite quote from Herschel Walker? That's you know what? I think uh, the question is, who's better, Herschel Walker or Johnny Walker? Which would you rather have? <laughs> Johnny. <laughs> Johnny Walker. <laughs> yeah, Johnny Walker can come to my place anytime he likes. Well, it's certainly been quite a year. You have to admit that. Unbelievable. I'm sorry. This game. <laughs> oh, really? So who, they won? Mm-hmm. Your, your guys won? Oh, guess. Look who just yes. won. Look oh, who okay. just, I think because we were yelling so loud, she just woke up. <laughs> Here's oh, Marjorie hey. Miller. Uh, Wait a minute. Here she is. <laughs> Happy New Year, Marjorie. Why don't you turn Where is Marjorie? Where's Marjorie? Is she, is she, she has won't turn on the lights. Oh, Marjorie. Oh, I can turn on the lights from here. Echo, okay. turn on bedroom. <laughs> Echo? I see you. No, not the Echo. bathroom, the bedroom. Turn on bedroom. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm gonna cut off. I'm gonna say goodnight. I, I, oh, you congratulations, Mandy. Happy, Happy New Year. I'm gonna rewatch the end of the game. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of Happy, Happy New, New Year, Year, Mandy. Year. Happy New Year, sweetheart. Happy New Year. Happy Happy New Year. Year. Just kind of like. Ah. And we appreciate all your participation this year. Okay. <laughs> we really do. It's fun. I wouldn't have missed it. Yeah. Well, we love having you here. But you're being replaced by Len LaFrisco, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, okay. Len. Here he comes. Anyway, good night, Mandy. Everybody good night. Happy night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Happy good buddy. Night. Hi, Marjorie. Hi. Marjorie, we, we, Marjorie. We, we, we were asking the question, uh, who was the worst person in the world this year? And uh, Putin right seems now? to have won. P- Putin seems to have won. Yeah, but who, who, who in, in, your, in your opinion, would it be? I would say Putin, but second, I would say um, Twitter's guy. What, what's his name? In the uh, world? In the world? Um, I got a witness. <laughs> <laughs> that was Charlie's choice. 
<laughs> oh, okay. But I mean, I, I'm sure there's some dictators killing off their people somewhere, you know. It's well, not, in some. You know. Saudi Arabia, yeah. I yeah. can't believe I woke up. I heard the, the 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 fireworks. That's what woke me up. Is that what woke you up? In your neighborhood, you sure it was fireworks? <laughs> <laughs> Downtown, downtown. Well, you know what happens is they, the kids go out and buy fireworks in this neighborhood. No, no, I mean downtown, the Forty Second Street. Really, you could see them from from the bedroom. Yeah. Well, no. I can hear it. That's a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Len, how are you? Hey. Where hey, are you? Where, where are you? I am downtown Livermore. We're just having dinner, and I wanted to wish you a very happy and healthy New Year, sir. <laughs> Yeah, you're breaking up on us, Lynn. I love Max Hedrum. I said I wanted, to, uh, I wanted to wish you a happy new year. <laughs> okay, and we wish you a happy uh, new year, too. Happy new year, Lynn. Uh, yeah, isn't it amazing Monica, right? that, that, that Zoom has made everybody become Max Headroom? <laughs> <laughs> I heard there was a lot of flooding in Livermore Good last night. Week. Yeah, yeah. Stay uh, dry, Lynn. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, I appreciate. It. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Rachel made it. I'm here. I'm here, Marjorie. Thanks Hi. for waking up. <laughs> well, she, 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 she's you. See, this would have happened if you were maybe this were twenty years ago. You would have been waiting for me to come home, maybe, or I would have taken you to the gig because I used to do these gigs at the uh, um, the Palace of Fine Arts. Uh, every New Year, and all I had to do was walk a block to go do the gig, and so you know I would have taken you with me, I guess. Okay. But, but you know, if if you're married to a person who's in a musician, or he's a performer of one sort or another, or a comedian, you got to expect that your New Year's is going to be him doing a gig because that's the best paying night of the year. So you you <laughs> lived one block from from the Palace of the Fine Arts, yeah. Wow. As I used to put it, I had to take a walk. Uh, I had to walk two blocks, do a little bit of work, come home with uh, ten thousand dollars in my pocket. So that was how I used to put it. You know, that's why New Year's was worth it to me. Absolutely. And and of course, it was the night we paid everybody better than any other night. You know, because hey, it's New Year. That's that's and I didn't I didn't charge that much for people to come in. I was very good about that. You know, so but anyway, so I used to, I just used to have to take a walk to, to get it done. So if you were with me, Marjorie, I would have taken you to see. Okay. The um, I would have huh? I would have stayed up. You would have stayed up? Yeah. Aww. When did you start, when did you start going to sleep before New Year? Oh, years ago. No, 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 no. Because we used to stay up till midnight. And I remember several times leaving the party and going to sleep. No, no, but that was in the later years. But I mean, early on here in, in this apartment, we used to have parties and you would stay up till midnight. Well, we those were those it. days. Now did you're that have to do, did that have to do with waking up at like four <clears throat> back then? Because like when you wake up at four, you can't go to bed at midnight. Exactly. But it's hard to sleep till four in the afternoon. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't know. I can do it. <laughs> no, I meant four. Marjorie, I meant you wake up at four in the morning. Like that's Actually, your she wakes up, she wakes I up used to nine. wake up at five. She now wakes like up five. at about nine in the morning now. Oh. Yeah. Oh wow. Then maybe you could stay up till midnight. Yeah. I should wish you a well, happy day. I'm going to bed. Here I am. Yes. It's twelve oh nine and here I am. Yeah. Wow. Does anybody else? Sorry, guys. I gotta go. I you gotta get ready. Right. Happy, happy New Year, Brian. Brian. Okay, happy Brian. New happy Brian. New Year, and again, year. thank you for participating in this program this year. You've been, you know, a real good friend that way. You're welcome. And I'll, I'll see you on Monday. And give my best to the wife and Adrian. Yes. Get Adrian. She yes. hasn't popped her head in yet, so I assume, <laughs> you know, we were drawing. So, yeah. <laughs> have a nice weekend, Charlie. <laughs> already have oh, i know i know okay <laughs> bye everybody okay bye, bye. bye. yeah
Yeah. So one thing that I, living in California is good is that you can celebrate it at nine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when, you, when you're in New York, the only closest time zone is like London. Yeah. Or Iceland or something like you can't, you can't be three hours. So Charlie, were you uh, getting tech support from Brian too? <laughs> no, no. Oh, okay. What do you mean tech support? Uh, I uh, Charlie just got a new iPhone and yeah. uh, he texted me and I tried to call him and I couldn't and he tried to call me and couldn't and so he uh, he skipped a spot in the directions because he knew it all and uh, <laughs> he got he got it working today. Do you remember? Well, I, I saw a thing tonight on the invention of the iPhone and all the things they had to go through to get it done and so on and so forth. And and one of the things they said was they wanted to make a phone that anybody could operate without having to look at a manual to operate it. Yeah. Well, that's changed, hasn't it? That's for sure. Well, <laughs> I've already watched 15 videos, YouTube videos on it. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. You'll get you'll get tired of that. Just go back to your TV set and watch you. <laughs> I'm yeah. so hooked on YouTube. This is the my year on of a YouTube. little screen to watch all this. Yeah, but but this is my year. This was my year to get hooked on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And I'll start in the evening and I'll just do nothing but watch YouTube go from one thing to another, you know. Oh, that's interesting. You know, I watched two, uh, two great documentaries on uh, Kim Jong. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and about him, he's crazy. Now, you uh see, he hasn't it come up as the worst person in the world, but we can't say he is because we don't know what goes on there. Nope. Yeah. In today's news, he's asking to buy more nuclear weapons from China. Oh, really? Yeah, because the United States is scaring him or something like that. Because so. the United States won't sell them to him? He's yeah. the one that's doing the testing. That's yeah. right. Yeah. I think if we knew more, Kim Jong-un might have won. The well, I mean... You know, he lived, they call it, they kept referring to it as the hermit nation. And it really is. And we don't know, be, above the 40, uh, 38th parallel, we don't know what the hell goes on. People who get out are like, I don't want to ever go back. A lot of people. Oh. You, well, if they can get out. They showed this this footage of this person who drove a car past the, uh, the, uh, the guards and everything going south. And went over the 38th <laughs> parallel, but they still came after him and shot shot him. Wow. And they wound up having to pull him out of there and he lived. But I mean, that's you don't hear about people leaving that nation too wow. often. It's not that easy. Oh. You know. So when they show pictures of it from the space of the earth, that part is dark. It's dark every <laughs> right. night. Yeah. It is. Yeah, it's amazing. It's just amazing. But let's not get depressed on New Year's Eve and talk about. Hey, Alex, things. before we leave sad subjects um, and, and talk about happier things, anything to say about Bar Barbara Walters? Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's right. She passed. She died yesterday, didn't she? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Path, you ever cross paths with her? I'm a big Never. fan of hers. Never. No. The only, only uh, association I have with Barbara Walters is, is that my ex-wife Ronnie who passed uh, about a year ago um uh was her associate producer for something like 12 years uh -huh. and it was a hell of a job because she did all the pre-interviewing if, if you were doing an interview uh -huh. with uh, uh Putin for instance she would go to Russia and do a pre-interview with him and um so Not she met anymore. a lot a lot of the world leaders because of Barbara uh -huh. You know, but uh, I never got an impression that she really liked Barbara that much. Mm. You know, that uh, Barbara was not a, shall we say, sweet person. You know, I mean, there are people to hear broke, about her. Huh? She broke a lot of... Um, no, I that's fine. And I, I give her credit for all of that. For women, what she has done for yeah. women was great. I was going to say, I don't know if she could be sweet doing all the things that she did um, until I maybe think, later I, on. I, if, if she had a hard exterior, it might have been because of that. Yeah. You know, and that, that that's what it took in order to survive what she had to go through. I mean, Harry, when she took over the ABC Evening News, 
Mm. with Harry Reasoner. Reasoner didn't want her because mm -hmm. he said, I don't want a woman as a sidekick. You know, uh, this is not uh, this is not going to go well. Women should not be anchors. Yeah, well, he kicked the bucket long before her. So, yeah, yeah. But I mean, she had a very successful career and uh, uh, you're, you're absolutely right. I mean, you have to give her credit for what she did, you know. And she get the first seven figure contract as well. Yes, absolutely. I think what bothered Reasoner was she got a million dollars for that job, and I don't think he was getting anything close to it. Right. Oops. I have a question. Yeah. Alex. Yeah. Uh, it, it says on your website that the intersection is going to start again Tuesday. Yeah. Uh, it, is that with Jack Bishop or or with Josh? No, it's with Jack. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Tuesday. Okay. I, I got to give you all the news, don't I, Charlie? Yeah. <laughs> we got to find out. We got we, we to find something to do with Josh, though. You know, people really have enjoyed his yeah. shows. Yeah. We got to figure out what to do. I only missed one, and that was last weekend, but I watched it, and I'm glad I missed it because they talked about sports for 90% of the time. <laughs> and I'm not a big sports Yeah, fan. I came back the other night, Josh, and you were talking about sports, and I'm going. Huh? I, think, you know, I never knew we had a sports show on this channel. I mean, it's fine with me, you know, because I'm not the one that's going to talk about sports. You know. Yeah, I'm not year. Much of a sports fan. What did you say, Josh? I said it was the end of the year. We didn't yeah. need them. Yeah. It was, it was light, I guess. How's that? Well, you have you have a broader um, uh, repertoire than I do. You know, I shut off at sports. Well, he's half it. your age, Alex. Huh? He said he has a broader repertoire. He's half your age. No. I'm, <laughs> I'm saying that he can talk about sports, and, you know, I, I can't talk about sports. Penn State's playing in the Rose Bowl. I know. I, I said that earlier that you were thrilled yeah. by that. She used to go to Rape State. <laughs> Rape State. Oh, that's cold. That's well, I, I keep referring to it as rape state, and she gets mad at me. You know? Well, yeah. But the only thing I know about Penn State is that people get raped there. Herb yeah. State. Huh? Little boys. Herb State. Molest State. Molest Molest <laughs> State. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, well, it's nice that Penn State's going to the Rose Bowl. I always thought the Rose Bowl was kind of the cheesy bowl, though. No, it's the top one. Is it yeah. really? Yeah. Penn State's going? Yeah. Oh, yeah, really. Surprise, huh? <clears throat> Gee, we got people from everywhere tonight. I think this is terrific. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We got uh, Rachel's out in San Francisco. Marjorie's 30 feet down the hall. <laughs> uh, Alan's in California. Josh is in Ohio. Uh, Edward is in New Queens. York. Queens. Flushing. Flushing. Yeah. Or as we like to call it, because there's a, a lot of Chinese people out there, Flushing. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and and uh, Charlie lives out in Texas. Mm -hmm. And uh, Charlene, again, is another person out in California. Mike Chisholm up in Canada. Uh, where exactly? What city? Western Canada, a place called Kelowna. It's about uh, a three hour drive east of Vancouver. Oh, really? I've Five hours that. north of Seattle. Yeah. It's the sister city to the one in France, Cologne without the uh at the end, right? <laughs> no. Is it as beautiful as the the, what, the western part of Canada? The western no, part it's of Canada? Don't you? Yeah, it's, it's God's country. We live in one of the most beautiful places in the world. It's wine country. There's 100 golf courses in an 80-mile range. It's in a valley. It's absolutely gorgeous. So you can't go anywhere without getting hit by a ball is what you're saying. <laughs> That's exactly how I like it, Alex. Yeah. Yeah. Boy. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's a strange one. Oh, anyhow. <laughs> Does anybody have any hopes for the next year at all? I hope we uh, all continue to be happy and not get COVID. The Chinese are bringing it in. Because they opened it up, but we are testing at in customs right now. We're starting testing. Yeah. Biden, Biden ordered it that we're going to test all the Chinese coming in, and if they've got COVID, 
I don't know if they're going to quarantine them or send them back home. Well, and supposedly, China, supposedly China. we're already starting the new year with a new variant. Yeah. And the yeah. new variant is accounting for 40% of the hospitalizations in the United States right now. It's only supposed And it's to all coming from China. It's a it's a spinoff from Omicron. It's not going to be any worse than last year. Yeah, no, but, it, but it, the yeah. question is, is the vaccine going to prevent infection? Like well, Rachel, vaccine, Rachel, you know, you're the you're the doctor here, is it? I think it's going to no. be like we're going to have a once a year COVID shot, like we have a once a year flu shot. Yeah. And try to make it match the the types of variants that they've been seeing. Yeah. And I think it's it's I mean, if forty, I don't. What I read about forty percent was you hear that? I what I read about forty percent was that forty percent of the COVID cases are this new variant. Oh my Not God. 40% of hospitalizations. Yeah. But I may be wrong. I, I feel like it's milder. Like there's still hospitalizations, but it's not like it was last year. Yeah. Well, th there's a lot of immunity built up, natural and through yeah. vaccines. And yeah. that, that's why the hospitalization will be lower this year. Yeah. <clears throat> Unless we end up with a, a, another alpha or delta variant, which they're not expecting. If no. you may remember, yeah, I mean, yeah, go ahead. I mean, two two and a half years ago, mm. we were in the midst of the worst pandemic ever. You know, yeah, they, they had like tents out in the street. It, we had tents we, like we, like tent in Central Park. Park. we had tents built in Central Park by that uh, what Billy Graham out there or who was it? No, it wasn't who it was some religious group. I think it was uh, Franklin Graham's group. Yeah, I think so. The scary yeah. thing to me was it, watching in New York where it first hit all the refrigerated trucks where they were putting yeah. the bodies. P putting the dead bodies, yeah. They did it in L.A. I mean, know. I feel fortunate I'm not, I wasn't one of them. Yeah, yeah. Well, we, yeah. We, we, we didn't even go out, I think, for 10 months. No. You know, we just, and, and if somebody brought a package into our apartment, we'd get the gloves out and put them down and then spray them. And then open slipper. them for two, three I days. Slip for a couple of days, remember? Yep, yep. absolutely. Yep. Uh, I think now, I think we're getting a little too loosey goosey about it. Oh yeah, you know, absolutely. And letting and, our guard down. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I always still wear a mask when I go into the supermarket. Everywhere, I, I would go on a, if I get on the subway, I would wear a mask. But I don't know how much the mask masks afford protection. You know? they do have masks totally protect. They totally protect. They totally protect. And spray so, things isn't necessary. And soap doesn't do anything for this one. But soap and water is good for the flu. And uh -oh. and honestly, the flu in in kids is way worse than COVID in kids. Well, in the midst of the first COVID outbreak, and when nobody was going out and everybody was staying in and so on, how yeah. many colds did you have? None. No. None. Zero. So yeah. shouldn't we have learned something from that? That if we wear masks during the winter when we go out, we perhaps will prevent us from getting a cold. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. You know? I think that it depends on what your age is and what your lifestyle is. Because I can tell you, like my kids, my daughter especially, like she's just done with, you know, being scared of COVID all the time and masks all the time and. Yeah. It's starting to take a mental health toll on young people. And I and I, I feel like it's a different situation because they're kind of lower risk to end up in the hospital, but it's just ruining their lives. Well, have kids, to, kids have, have, have completely, video, like video school. And, you know. Yeah, but they, they have a problem. They're going to have a problem with socialization now. Totally. And yeah. and there's just a lot of depression and anxiety and um, a lot of loneliness because everybody's living on their screens. You know, yeah. 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 so masks the, the deal with masks is a mask really protects the other person better than it protects you. But if they're wearing a mask and you're wearing a mask, you're protecting each other, yeah. And an N95 mask protects you yes. and protects them. Yes. And but you I know wear something, I, 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 and I, all I, day, every and day. I, I know you're a doctor, and in hospitals, they wear N95s. I wear an N95 all day, every day. I don't know how you do it. Those masks are so uncomfortable. You know, mm -hmm. I have one that's kind of like, it looks a little bit like a beak. 
Oh, it looks like Donald yeah. Duck. The Donald Duck. Variety. It's like a beak, and it's actually more comfortable than the blue mask. Yep. Oh, really? Oh, it's boy. just that it marks my face, and it makes my hair look like mad science. Are you a doctor, Rochelle? <laughs> yeah, I'm a pediatrician. Are you? Oh, you don't like the N95, the the green surgical that mask. One, that one pinches like my. Yeah, face. yeah. I, deal, and I deal. don't feel like I have a good seal with it. Right. Like, well, is that go. is there? the Donald Duck one kind of? Is that a, called an N95 or does it have another number? That that one's an N95. Like I think it. There's different shapes and models. Oh, okay. N95, but it's about the filtration and the seal. So Rochelle will uh, will understand this. Will know this, but uh, in in doctors and hospitals. Not Rachel, one mask. Yeah. One mask does not fit all, and so when no, it comes to N95, they ha it has to fit to your face. We and, do, do fit and give testing. a good seal. We do fit testing. Absolutely, but but I think for the public, mm -hmm. if you can get some N95s and you can't have fit testing, every time I've done fit testing, I passed. You know, like now as a as a a lot of people flunk. As a what do you call it? As and a yeah, yeah. As, as a uh, as a pediatrician, how about all these diseases have been hitting kids lately? Well, that's what that's what's going on. Like I feel like when people come in and say, "Oh, and we tested at home for COVID, and they don't have COVID," and I'm like, "Well, that's good," um, but that's if they had COVID, you wouldn't be here because <laughs> they wouldn't be that sick. Yeah. You know? um, the RSV, right? Yeah. So kids are getting yeah. like really high fevers. They're getting like two, three viruses at the same time. Oh, wow. Like these, because there's all these viruses circulating now. And these are kids who for three years, anyone born in the last three years has never seen like a cold or a virus unless they're in daycare. Where well, are you? Where parents, are you? Okay. parents aren't vaccinating. They found polio in the water in New York. Yes. There's there there's some resurgences because of anti-vaxxers, but this is different. This is kids who are vaccinated, but they've just never been exposed to any germs. Right. And now well, there's no vaccine for RSV, is there? No. And honestly, RSV there there will be, and RSV honestly is also well, what's, what's, not what's, as bad as the flu. What's interesting for in most the, kids in I the think. end, they found that what caused polio was we became too clean uh that that wow. the kids used to be immune to these diseases because we had like you know manure piled up a foot high on blocks of streets and things like that and we didn't have a what we call cleansed society or a sanitary society once we started cleaning up when kids were being born, they were more opportunistic. Uh, uh, these diseases were more opportunistic with those kids. And one of those was polio. And if we had still been filthy, they probably wouldn't have gotten it. There's and, a great documentary yeah. on the history of polio. The history of polio. Yeah. That was my generation. Yeah. Um, it was all our generation. That's, yeah. that, that's right. And yeah. When I, when, yeah. With the exception of probably Josh and, and uh, you know, Josh Mike is still a kid, and Mike, and Rachel, Rachel. I, I got vaccinated. So is back it, is it gonna maybe eventually be possible to go one get together where Alan doesn't mention how old I am? <laughs> <laughs> There's like nothing in the world that aggravates me more than people talking about how old I am. Okay, I'll so stop in the future. I'll... If you could do me a favor <laughs> and stop talking about my fucking age, okay, is that possible? Maybe. Yeah, you it's think possible. You could do that? I okay. can do that. Oh, listen. Well, we know Josh's New Year's goal. <laughs> <laughs> to get Alan to stop talking Josh, about me. Don't take yeah. it personally. He does it about me, too. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm talking about. He's got some kind of obsession. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I've been married for 20 years. That's how old I am. I got a house <laughs> with a 30 year note that's got 10 years left. I've worked at the same job for a decade and a half. Okay, I'm not 12 fucking years old. I wasn't <laughs> born yesterday. You give it up with the age thing? <laughs> what is your deal? Uh, just for the record, Alan, you can call me young anytime you like. Okay. <laughs> and you're how old, Mike? 46. 46. Okay. Yeah. And you're you're how old, Josh? You're 14, <laughs> 14, right? Okay. Yeah. I got it, Josh. I got it. 
You got it handed to you, as they say. So uh, that's okay. Yeah. You yeah. know? Like, I don't know what fucking polio is. Give me the fucking polio. <laughs> I didn't say Well, that. I'll tell you something, though. I got to tell you. Uh, I would say there are people your age, Josh, who don't remember polio. Yeah. You know? Totally. I mean, uh, it was something that was so pervasive. And once you got a vaccine for it, once you got a, a treatment for it, we wiped it out. It completely yeah worldwide yeah and uh only in recent years because people haven't been making sure that they kept got their polio shots okay oh, it's, it's, it's been slowly well not the anti-vaxxers so much as people just going hey what's polio you know and and uh so it's you know a lot of times you get somebody your age uh uh josh and i'm not saying you're a kid I'm just saying your age and they don't really remember polio because they don't remember it like I do where my parents didn't want to let me go out and play during the summer. We Every weren't allowed to was afraid in, no. was going to get we polio. We weren't allowed to swim in August and I don't know why August was no swim month. You know that was a month the polio hit the highest? Yeah, it was in, in August. August. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, see yeah, I, it's a great point. Like those who uh, forget history are doomed to repeat it. Gen X, very much so. Uh, I've met very a lot of people in my generation who um, are so far down the anti-vax uh, rabbit hole, take COVID out of it, have been that way for a long time, simply because they're ignorant to these conditions entirely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it, it's it's a disease that most people have forgotten. But, but when I was growing up, I mean, it was, I mean, you saw kids in iron lungs. Yeah. Iron lungs. Braces. Yeah. With those metal braces on their legs. Yeah. yeah. You should all see the documentary, which we're, we're was it? 1990? It was on PBS. 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 Yeah. Really yeah. good. If you get like a PBS, uh, if you have like a PBS app and you can watch it, uh, it's, uh, it was on a couple of weeks ago. Uh, and it's, it, it, it's, I think it's it's an amazing part of our history that we have kind of forgotten. And I yeah. and I realize the reason we've forgotten it is because it was when it happened when I was a kid, uh, that was, you know, 70 years ago. And 70 years is a long time in the American memory, you know. And my uh, dad taught me about it when I was 15. I I, I didn't know what it was. Uh, and yeah. my dad told me stories from yeah. when he was a kid uh, yeah. when I was 15 years old. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, hey, listen, it looks like we've run out of time here. Uh, I was only going to do a really short time, and this turned into a very nice hour with a bunch of good friends. We lost a few of them during this hour. No, they didn't die, folks. They just, <laughs> just tuned in. We lost them because they went to so their parties, to yeah, their yeah. parties or whatever. Brian Neary and uh, Mandy, who uh, we love to have here, and uh, who else? Who else was? Uh, Len was here. Len was here for about. Len Headroom. Yeah, Len Headroom. I was here for about the two minutes, and yeah. it was really nice. I didn't think anybody would show up. That so I that was pretty good. Uh, and I want to thank you, my Mike Chisholm, for having participated in this program for the year that you have and happy new year everybody happy new year, Alex. i appreciate you. you buddy i found out that the monday show i think we've been doing for two or three years now you know i i, I, I like thought forever. it was just relatively new you know so anyway thank you charlene always here nice to see you glad to participate uh charlie wallace uh the only the only uh um astrophysicist that we have on our panel uh, and uh the only former recruit of the cia I mean, his history i i'm i'm just yeah. in awe of of charlie you know uh and uh, josh you know thank you so much and th not only for doing this program but over the year but also because you took over for for jack on fridays and we're going to find something to do with you because I, I just think the shows you did were spectacular. Yeah. Uh, Alan, thank you so much, uh, except for remarks about Josh. Uh, <laughs> and uh, thank you to Kevin. Oh, Josh Santa, it's so good to, you know, to have you on this show. It's a bright, bright part of my life. 
You bet. Uh, you know, I mean, what the hell can I say about you? Except she sleeps next to me in bed. When I wake up in the morning, I go, oh, my God, I'm sleep. I'm waking up with an old woman. Oh, oh man. Oh, oh. What did I do last night? I'm waking uh -oh. up with an old woman. Take your can over of fart spray away from him. And, and, and she looks over at me and goes, is he still alive? <laughs> and Rachel, uh, always good to talk with you and have you visit us as a man. Yeah, well, let me know when you do these things. Have them on your back. Well, we, we, do, we, we, we do them on Monday, but you're probably at work. What yeah. time on Monday? On Monday, we do it at um, one o'clock. One at one o'clock your time, which is four o'clock our time here. And then so at, are on, you doing on it two, like on this Tuesday, like in the day after tomorrow? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, it, it, this is Sunday, so yeah, tomorrow. Yeah. And then uh, uh, we also do a show on um, uh, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays at uh, ten thirty our time. Which is seven thirty my time. Seven thirty your time. So you might check those out. You, know, you just call this number. That's all. You know, just go over to Gabnet Live and uh, Gabnet.net rather, and we're over on the right hand side of the page. Everybody, give a uh, they say goodbye to everybody. Yeah, I did. Everybody, I had goodbye, goodbye, Edward. Goodbye, Edward. I know, I know, I know. All right, all right, all right. I'm remembering. Mm -hmm. right. Edward Berger is our official sign off. As he says, "That's all, folks." <laughs> okay. <laughs> we knew everybody. everybody. See you later.